Okay, Chris, I see you. Good morning. 1616 records. If you'd like a, a live reading, please make a donation. Lady B, do you have a question? The baby room at Smith's has a quality range of high chairs for your little ones. Hello, love regardless. Do you have a question? Take your time, think very carefully. Regardless, anybody requiring a live read, please make a donation. Diffusion ball swanky around them. But they're not using their what? Their skills to sort out their foundation. They're allowing subterfuge. Take them over. 
Good Lord, by Pennywise's son or daughter, who could it be? What am I pre? Ah, ah! What's that? Boss lady eight. How do I keep myself fit? I um, I do yoga. I do spin in my bedroom. <laughs> I go to the gym. Um, I jog on the spot while watching films. You'll be surprised how many steps you can get in. More money, what is your question? Let me see. Hey, Corey, glad you could pop in. Keep them in line, eh? I'm trying to see your question, more money. I don't see it. Okay. Kitsune Jones. My question is about relationships. Base of your deck? Good golly and gosh, it seems like you're on your guard. This is about a season of you standing your ground, Scott. Mm-hmm. The seven of the seven of wands speaks about you what? Um there's a lot of competition around you. People that are what? A bit malicious, right? A bit confront confrontational. They want hockey sticks at dawn. This is about you backing them off. relationships oh goodness and gracious me the majority of relationships that you've been having around you of late have brought you nothing but problems and troubles a lot of what mental confusion a lot of what tongue tongue wrestling right but this is your season of bossing up we already saw the seven of ones this is about you backing off energies that no longer serve you this also speaks about you being what a good a good provider you're able to provide right and bring bring ugh, put my teeth back in bring clarity illuminating clarity to situations that no longer serve you the emperor is aries as well as mars energy this also speaks about possibly a future husband or partner somebody who is solid that is coming towards you or you are embodying that right now this also speaks about big news coming towards you Mm -hmm. Base of the deck, yes, baby. Good news after many betrayals. We have the Palace of Cups. This is about you mastering your emotions as only an emperor can, whether you are male or female. This is about be not being pulled about, understanding who has your emotions, right? Is your king, and this is not the season for it, not for you. Yeah. This also speaks about what disharmony in a love relationship. It could be a family, friend, whatever. You are feeling the, the disharmony, the lack of balance and unity in that situation, Gemini energy, on its face. Mm -hmm. Finding out that there is a lot of unreliable people that lack accountability. This is about you, what? Because the emperor always sits on their throne alone as they gather their emotions together. Once you can control your emotions, you are king of everything because you take the time to what? Respond and not react. Split in the deck. Once you gain control of yourself and understand that you are the master, the professor of your particular puzzle, this is reaping season. This is about you sowing seeds and building a new empire. This could be in the form of Take it on a new job, entrepreneurship, right? New streams of income, new learning, whatever it is to you. You've decided to what? Put a fence around your loyalty. Bear, bear. Definitely a look before you leap season. Why? Because they lack, they lack harmony and stability and this is not what you're working towards. This is why. It's important for you to what? Isolate and gather your emotions 
and your spiritual strength together. This is a reaping season for you. Yeah. And you've got a lot of bitter Bettys, right, in your background. These are people that, what? Abused your unconditional love. This is somebody who is a drama queen. This person loves to cause what? A lot of, a lot of um, unsettlement, lack of accountability. Somebody a bit like a little finger. This could be a mother figure, a sister, a grandmother, some female in your life, right? Who is not getting their wish fulfillment, right? As you drop away or let go of the burdens that bound you to them. Yeah, multiple betrayals. See who else had a question oh here it is more money what is the current energy between vanessa and i base of the deck you want new perspective you want to know whether or not you're sacrificing yourself for a situation it's about re reset recipro i can't even say the name i tried to say it before Reciprocity, please, Gilad God. <laughs> Give it and get it. Divine is not releasing my tongue on that. My verbiage is faulty today. Mm -hmm. You want to gain a new perspective. You want to know whether you are being imprisoned by a set, a set of mind, a way of thinking, right? You have lots of new ideas. There's things that you want to do. But you have the motivation and the focus to do these new things. Relationship between you and Vanessa. You need to gather more information. There could be this it could be a successful relationship, but you need to what speak your truth, right? This is about going within. You may be getting a what? Um feeling as though this person is extremely cold but they have a lot of emotions and those emotions want victory with you because you're the one with all of the good ideas high ideals and the will the strength and the motivation to go out and get what you want this goes to seven of wands but you have to stand your ground in that situation don't allow yourself to be run over because you're dealing with somebody who is highly intelligent and not quick to show their emotions. Mm -hmm. I told you, you're the one with all of the ideas, darling dear. And you are about to what? Re receive some kind of noti notoriety. It could be on the World Wide Web. It could be in your community. But you need to pour away what? Ideals that no longer suit you. Right? You'll know instinctively the ones is about your third eye darling india your spirituality you'll know which ones to follow this person wants to be victorious with you right and this also speaks about what a return of the ex mm -hmm. whomsoever that ex is to you someone who you thought was a what a no-go area someone who wasn't spiritually guided who looks like what <laughs> Someone coming out of the devil's balls, right? From the past. You have to be on alert for that. They're coming out unbalanced, guys. And unpro spiritually unprotected. But as far as this Vanessa person wants, they're not showing their true emotions, but they're quick. They're quick, right? To act on any intel that they gather. And they like what's going on with you. They want a victory with you. But like I said, they're not going to show it outwardly, but inside, their heart beats for you. Mm -hmm. Whatever your relationship is. Does anyone else have a question? Let's see. How will the children handle the custody court this week? The school schedule will be determined. Right, how are the children going to handle the custody call?
your children are resilient they're able to pour away any issues that may come up this is about them what being put in the forefront the star card is about being put on the platform because they are the topic of the conversation this week aquarius energy mm -hmm. the children are feeling as though this is kind of like a wish fulfillment a lot of a lot of tears has been shed over this particular situation There's a lot of things that they haven't actually said to you either but you boss lady b are the ideal mother you are nurturing you know how to get to the pentacle right and focus on task at hand you have business acumen we have the arm um, three of ones on its face darling dear right this is Aries energy, as well as the sun energy. Mm -hmm. They too are waiting for this. <laughs> Every, all eyes on the court, eh? They're waiting for clarity, right? Because they are feeling vulnerable at this moment in time because they do not have set clarity. They're not trying to get any excited in any way, shape or form. They're waiting for the outcome, right? And it looks like it's going to go in whatever way you wish it to. This is about going to calmer waters. Can't you see the children in the boat? Whatever they are hoping for, they're going to get. Where they're in a situation where they're not being controlled, being pulled about like Taffy, it's going to work out in the children's favour. A new beginning. So whatever the new beginning they are requiring or requesting, or the way that you wish it to go, it's going to go in your favor. Death to the old, rebirth, and new things are going to be going on. They're going to be very happy. Does anyone else have a question? Let me see. Um, yeah, I saw that one. Hey, Sunita Brown, do you have a question? Grand Rising. Where is everybody coming in? Where are you tuning in from? You know that I'm in the UK. Where is everybody else? Some are saying good morning. When it's what? It's 2.39 in the PM here. As we what? Sit firmly on the portal of the Lion's Gate on the date of the new moon in Leo. We've got Yonkers in New York. Where else? Um, New Jersey. Nine forty here. Where is here, Corey? Where is here? <laughs> <laughs> Incognito one, Western Australia, don't you know? Pinkies up. We've got cats in every GPS. Uganda, wowzers. Love regardless, thank you very much for coming in. Hello, hello, Elaine Bird. Do you have a question, darling dear? Happy Lionsgate to you, Elaine. Audrey. Parcel, you're in Dallas, Texas. Wowzers. And Virginia, don't you know? Michigan, Africa. Oh. Does anybody want to ask me a question? We've never had an open question for the big cat. Do you have a question for me? You're in you're in California, Elaine. Okay, I see you. Fist bump. Glad you could pop in. Do you want to ask me a question? Ontario in Canada. Okay. Yes. Yes. The word is being spread across the globe. So be it most. Why, Corey wants to know, why do I speak in riddles? Baby, if I was to talk in plain talk, you wouldn't listen to me. You'd think I was batshit crazy. <laughs> These 
riddles get you to think. Know your worth and understand if shit is not your forte. Allowing the what the tree sloth to slough on, mate. Audrey, um, is it Pearsall? You want to know what we should be manifesting this new moon? Whatever you want, darling dear. You have to what? Speak it into existence, write it down, and burn it under the energy of the new moon light tonight. Is it the strongest, right? As it's sitting in the lion's gate, write it in the present tense. Just trying to skip this advert. Right, because on the base of the deck, if you don't speak it into existence, it's not going to appear. We have the Ace of Wands on its face, darling dear. This is about what? You've got to put your passions into it. You've got to believe to achieve. What's Faith without works is dead. Told you this many times. You have to put your own efforts out there. Put your own feelers out there. You can manifest anything you want. Mm-hmm. Ramona Singh, you're in New York City. Hello. Is it Kalia? Is it? Listen, I think I might need stronger spectacles because my reading skills is ift. <laughs> yeah. goddess thank you very much i'm glad you enjoyed it we're seeing 33 in the chat same age as jesus on bob marley ascended masters are present do you have a question your appreciation Elaine I truly do this is why I come back every day big cats need to what know that they can co-create whatever they want that the circumstances that they find themselves should be their springboard to greatness does anyone else have a question So when's what going to happen? Is that your question, Corey? Candace Dixon, future love reading. Sure. Mm -hmm. This shows me that you've had some kind of a breakup or breakdown, right? In your boundaries, a situation that you simply had to leave, one that you could no longer trust in. Wasn't wise to stay where he was, eh? Had to push off at a hot trot. Future love for Candace. You do have an offer of love coming towards you, right? And it's going to feel like all your Christmases have come at once, right? This is the Five of Pentacle. This is about you coming out of sadness, loss, Possibly even financial loss from leaving a situation with somebody who was what? Immature in the emotions, darling dear. Mm -hmm. But you do have an offer coming towards you. Good God, be careful! <laughs> Get this! You've been warned, right? Be careful, it's not a back front neck stabbing snake. You have to understand, we already saw the hierophant on its face. You haven't healed from your last situation, darling dear. So you'll be slim pickings for the narcissist and the sociopaths of this world, right? Why? 
because you're still carrying the negativity that was told to you, the poison that they tried to bleed into your cranium, right? You have to get past that. This is the DNS, darling dear. You need to go in the DNS. You need some time by yourself. Love is the last thing that you need to worry about. Only the love of self, building yourself back up, finding out how who you are. This is Scorpio energy. Mm -hmm. In order to have what? A full-on transformation. Once you've done that, this is when the blessings will start pouring on you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Told you. Your unconditional love was abused in a situation, right? You knew what was going on, but you was unable to free yourself until, until you did a what? The final cartation. This is about withdrawing all of your emotions from a situation, right? Having the wisdom of your experiences. Look, bombs over Baghdad. They're outcasts. Yeah. This is you ending a situation. It, ended, it was what? A catastrophic amount of destruction caused with this ending, right? Someone, look, King of Cups, someone who, right, didn't take care of your emotions, but you bossed up on this, Mitch, realizing you've got badass alchemist ways, knowing Psalms 23, 5, your table will be set for your enemies to watch as they try to come back through. But again, we see the death card. Spirit wants you to go through the DNS, darling dear. You have to go, you, you, you've got to get the poison out. Journal it, write it down. You need some time by yourself so that you can what? Become one again with spirit and be guided by spirit. Once you've done all of that, the love coming to you won't be of a what? A narcissistic kind. You will be whole and will only attract whole. Mm -hmm. This is not the time to get involved with bottom feeders. Removing the trauma bonds of old. Told you, removing the trauma bonds of old. This is a time for you to what? Take time to wonder what exactly put you in that position. Look at what, take accountability for your role, even if your role was one of silence. Because silence is still a choice. And that silence, if it was silence, brought more problems and issues. You need to heal thyself first before you think about love. Again, love yourself first. We all know those moments when our confidence fades. And in those moments we look for something Right, different. let's go to the next yeah, question. It's my hair. That's why I choose preference. Nerd Barbie. Brandonin. Do you have a question, darling? Yeah. If anybody else would like um, their question to be answered, please make a donation and I will surely get to you. I'm trying to see your question. Nerd Barbie, where's your question? Is there any moderators here? Can you point me to it? I don't see a question, dear. I see you saying please, but what is your question, darling, dear? Sandra M, you want to know if your hospital tests We'll be okay today. Base of the deck, you're gonna hear something that you not you won't like today. Wow. This health, this health situation that you actually have is through choices that you made in your life that has brought you to this point. 
Mm-hmm. Is it life threatening? No. This is a cup of healing, darling dear. Mm hmm You're gonna be alright. You're not gonna hear exactly what you want to hear, but your overall outcome is that you're going to be okay, darling dear. But you're gonna to have to make better choices, pour away what no longer serves you. Libra girl, AT80, what does M feel for me? What does M feel about you? Base of the deck, we've got the tower in reverse, right? The tower is represented by um, fire as well as Uranus energy. This person has been disregarding your feelings for some time. This is also avoiding a painful um, breakup. Mm -hmm. It also says that um, you're trying to avoid the feeling depressed at this moment in time because you are unhappy with this situation the way it's standing. How does M feel? We have the Ace of Wands. Well, they do like you. <laughs> they like you like that. Yes, you know what the Wands usually represents. They do have a certain passion for you, right? But we also have the World card. You need to understand whether or not you need to close that chapter. You want to know if you're dealing with a snake. We've got the what? Seven of Skulls, darling dear. This is somebody that would like to invest in your situation, right? So what's their issue? We've got the five of knives. They're coming out of a situation where there was a lot of mental, a lot of arguing, fighting. They're still weighing up the situation as far as you're concerned. But they like what they see. They've got it hot, a hot passion for you. Mm-hmm. What should you do about M? Because it's not about what they feel about, it's how you feel about the situation. How do you feel about the situation? Chariot, you like them. You like them a lot, right? But you don't want to be what? Conned or tricked. You've got the magician and the fool. Mm -hmm. We've also got the eight of cups, right? You don't want nothing to drain your emotions. You don't want to be unhappy in that situation. You want to know exactly what they they like you, but they're still weighing up the situation. We've got the nine of skulls. They see you as somebody who is independent, right? You don't like drama. You don't, and you don't like to be wondering. Right? We've got the queen of skulls. Listen, you know how to get to the bag, right? This is about you knowing your worth. It's not about whether they like you, it's whether you like them. And have you seen their birth natal chart? These questions. <laughs> you need to ask. Yeah. They like you just fine, darling dear. But they're not giving up any intel. Because they're still assessing of what they're still assessing the situation because of what they previously went through. Two of Cups, they definitely are attracted to you. Mm-hmm. Does anybody else have a question? Hey Kelly, Palisano. I'm just checking through to make sure I haven't missed anybody out. Nerd Barbie, let's see. Base of your deck, we have the star card. This is about your vibration being raised. You've healed from some kind of situation. 
right? There was a lot of crying. There was a lot of tears. Aquarius energy. Mm -hmm. This also speaks about some kind of elevation. Could be in your community, your job, whatever. You're about to step into the spotlight, darling dear. And as you step into the spotlight, Sputnik, the jealous ones, the mouth breathers, right? They're going to be filled with envy. You're about to what? get a step up in status. Thank you. Yes, BFB. I can see why. You was what? Amongst liars, lying out of their lying, lying hole. Yes, baby. In a season of what? Confusion and lack of clarity, right? You was unable to live your truth, speak your truth, or be amongst the truthful. But you have been earmarked to be head and shoulders above them. Why? Because you are embodying the Queen of Wands. You are highly intuitive. Divine wants you to what? Continue to lean on your discernment and your intuition. You are a natural born leader. This is why you're getting what? The star status on a platform. It could be in um, something to do with the what? The occult. You could be a spiritualist. Something to do with the spiritual field. You're about to take a step. You're about to what? How can I put it? The plans that you are making now, right, is going to put you into a position where you'll be able to use your discernment when you go amongst the lying liars, the back front, Nick stabbing snakes. Also, we saw the star card. This platform that you've created or are about to create, we know this, it will, it will bring a lot of jealousy and slander. But move forward anyway right this is the two of pentacle solo like the girls on the pole this is about you what being on your own so you can collect your thoughts this is about you being able to manage your responsibilities you are nowhere near survival mode trust and believe that right you're looking gorgeous fabulous and lovely this talks about you having a lot of admirers a lot of what people wanted to what wife your husband you up darling dear why because you're the queen of wands you know how to get to the bag. You take the time to think it out very carefully. And a lot of the times you did that while juggling and struggling. Right? You're moving towards success. This could be a new, like I said, a new business, a new vehicle, whatever you've been putting your efforts towards. It's going to come out lovely, for fabulous and gorgeous for you. Mm-hmm. The chariot, cancer energy. This is about you continuing to be determined. You're also going to be meeting a new partner. Another admirer whilst admirer whilst on a trip. This could be a business trip. It could be on the way to work. But somebody is coming forward. Right? But you're going to have to see them. They're not going to be the type of person that you're used to being around. This is about you opening up your perspective. Allowing what? People with differences to approach you. Because what you was getting in the past was, was what? Ghosts and ghouls. Yes, baby. This also speaks about what? The, the, the malice and the spite and the jealousy that's going to be directed at you. This is why you have to be spiritually strong. Use your discernment as the queen of wands, right? Put your third eye on them bitches or mitches, right? And know that you are whole and able to manage on your own. So not every energy must you allow around you at this stage of the game not while you've got your flip-flops on right and that's the truth roof king size truth this person that's coming towards you is highly intelligent this person may be a business person a ceo someone high up in a company or running their own company this person is going to be quick to take actions towards you but you're not going to be sure about their feelings but know this this person is not the one someone that can be easily pulled about or beguiled by just beauty alone. If they're acting towards you, it's a conscious effort and their feelings are truly involved. Yes, baby. Why? Because you've got those badass alchemist ways, darling dear. Mm-hmm. Your table is going to be set. But you have to keep the faith and be determined and be focused on what you want. Mm -hmm. 
just checking to see what other questions there are. 